Do you sometimes edit a video, find the perfect song, but it's simply too long and you just don't want to cut the ending off? And then you start to fiddle around to make it fit. And after several minutes, you have something that's maybe not perfect, but you can live with it. Do you know that situation? Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. The tool that I want to demonstrate today is called Remix. And you can try it out yourself by installing the beta version of Premiere Pro because this functionality is not yet implemented in their latest stable release. Here we are now in the audio workspace of Adobe Premiere Beta. As you can see, I already prepared a little sequence for us. Not that we really need it, but uh, just something for the eyes, right? Joyride is the song that I'm going to use first. I just drag and drop it onto audio track number one. And this is how it sounds like. Fine, and now let me show you the whole sequence. As you can see, the song is way longer than it needs to be. We just need roughly 30 seconds. Just trimming it down would probably be the laziest method, but that's not what I want. I want to use another super lazy method instead. <laughs> let me select the clip, and then I go to my essential sound panel, music, and here I have to activate duration, the method is already set to remix, which is good. And here I want to change the Zieldauer, which is German for target duration. But instead of typing in some random numbers, I just copy and paste the correct time code over here. And boom, this is what Premiere suggests. Let's take a listen. I think that sounds pretty good. Let's listen one more time. And you probably guessed it, these white jagged lines here mark the positions in the song where Premiere placed the cuts. Nothing that we couldn't have done manually, but I mean, this took me what, three clicks? Two maybe, I don't know. Let's say we wanna go the opposite direction. So let me quickly copy and paste these video clips, fine. And now we could, of course, just type in another target duration or much faster, we just use the remix tool to drag the song to our desired length. Let's listen to it again. If that's not impressive, I don't know what is. So you see, it's just... It's just a matter of playing around with the target duration and Premiere Pro will automatically suggest you something that is pretty usable in my opinion. Well, I don't know about you, but... To me, this looks like a pretty nice time saver. And when I'm not happy with the result, I can just drag around the ending a little bit and all will be recalculated. Fine, but what if we work with vocal tracks? This here is pretty simple, just an instrumental. Let's use something with vocals. This is what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. Closet after the storm. 
Cool, so let's do this again. I once again use the remix tool and then I drag my ending until it seems to fit. Boom, there we have something. Okay, in this case, Premiere just edited out the whole vocal part. Pretty smart idea, if you ask me. Yeah, this works too. Sounds very good. But still, I would use it with caution when it comes to vocal tracks. Because let's face it, the sentences have to make some sense, right? And for everything without singing, it's a no-brainer, honestly. And like I said, this is nothing that couldn't have been done manually, but if I can save some time, I sure will. And that is it for this week, my friends. Super cool new feature in Premiere. I know for a fact that I will use it on a lot of projects from now on. Like always, I really hope you liked this video. And if so, thank you very much. I see you in the next one. And until then, stay safe and motivated. Bye for now. Thank you.